since Dr. Harold Zuerhausen discovered human papillomavirus in 1970s. Scientists have been hard at work looking for new cures and treatments for HPV. While body immunity can eliminate HPV within two years in over 90% of HPV infections, there is currently no cure for the HPV virus itself. According to CDC, about 14 million people become newly infected with HPV every year. So a medical breakthrough to win the battle against this virus cannot come sooner. Based on medical studies published by PubMed and U.S. National Library of Medicine, here are five good news on new HPV cure and treatment that may be on the way soon. First is the revolutionary CRISPR, which refers to clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. The study of CRISPR-Cas9 in the treatment of HPV-related CIN1 is ongoing, whereby gel with the necessary DNA coding will be applied to the cervixes of 60 women. New scientists revealed this is the first ever research that used CRISPR technology to edit human cells inside body. Preliminary evidences showed CRISPR-Cas9 could produce disruption of HPV-16 and HPV-18E6E7 DNA. This genome editing technology can also significantly decrease the expression of E6 and E7, induce cell apoptosis and inhibit cell lines growth. The field of gene editing is undergoing unprecedented growth. The ability to edit genes with high fidelity is promising for the development of new treatments for various diseases. CRISPR shows great potential here. This technology is extensively studied. With over 10,000 research published in the PubMed database. Second is VGX3100. As a DNA-based immunotherapy developed by Inovio Pharmaceuticals. VGX3100 is being investigated to treat HPV-16 and HPV-18 infection, including precancerous lesions of cervix and cervical cancer. This therapeutic DNA vaccine works by utilizing the patient's own body immune system to fight HPV. It stimulates a specific immune response to clear infections and precancerous cells caused by HPV-16 and 18. VGX3100 is delivered through injection in a technique called electroporation. In Phase 1 study of VGX3100 and electroporation for CIN, 14 of the 18 women showed production of specific immune cells against HPV-16 and 18. In Phase 2b study on 167 adult women with cervical HSIL, 49.5% of vaccinated women demonstrated regression of the virus-caused lesions. With VGX3100 shows efficacy against cervical intraepithelial neoplasia associated with HPV-16 and 18. This therapeutic vaccine could present a non-surgical therapeutic option for CIN2 or 3. Phase 3 study is evaluating VGX3100 for treatment of cervical high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. Third is AHCC or active hexose correlated compound. In research by University of Texas Health Science Center, dietary supplement AHCC appears to be promising for eradication of HPV. In the preclinical study, 10 women with persistent HPV infection received 3 grams daily of AHCC on an empty stomach for up to 6 months. 5 out of the 10 participants achieved negative result for HPV infection within weeks to months of taking AHCC. Among them, 3 of these women are reported to have confirmed HPV eradication. While more clinical study is in progress, many user testimonials show AHCC can really get rid of HPV as confirmed by pap smear and HPV test results. This supplement is helpful in fighting off HPV-16 and 18 that cause 70% of cervical cancers and cervical dysplasia. Produced from mushrooms called shiitake, AHCC is alpha gluc rich nutritional supplement that boosts body immunity. This mushroom extract works by increasing the production of body's natural killer cells and dendritic cells. It also serves as immunomodulatory agent that helps keep our immune system strong and balanced. While the aforementioned clinical study led by Dr. Judith Smith only involved women participants, it is believed similar results may be obtained when AHCC is used to treat men with HPV. This is due to the similarities in men and women's immune systems and the same HPV strain may affect both genders. 
For examples, high-risk HPV virus type 16 can cause throat cancer and anal cancer for both male and female. While genital warts are sexually transmitted infections when an individual is exposed to certain low-risk HPV. With low-risk HPV type 6 and type 11 are identified as the major causes of genital warts. As Dr. Smith revealed to Fox News, some men who used AHCC noticed their genital warts were cured without recurrence. Shiitake mushrooms have been known for centuries for their healing properties and health benefits in Asian countries. In Japan, AHCC is used in over 700 clinics and hospitals mainly to fight against most tumors in cancer treatment. As reported by the World Journal of Clinical Oncology, AHCC can increase production of tumor necrosis factor alpha. It is also clinically proven to reduce the chemotherapy side effects such as nausea and hair loss. With over 20 human studies and more than 100 preclinical studies, this natural mushroom extract has been successfully used to treat a wide range of health conditions. Fourth is pembrolizumab which belongs to drug family called immune checkpoint inhibitor. Pembrolizumab drug Kate Ruta is approved by FDA for treatment of head and neck cancer. Based on report published in the Therapeutic Advances in Medical Oncology Journal, there are preliminary evidences that show pembrolizumab can help advanced cervical cancer treatment. Clinical research is evaluating the combination of pembrolizumab and GX188E vaccination to treat cervical cancer. Pembrolizumab also demonstrated encouraging anti-tumor activity on patients with advanced anal carcinoma. This is good news as approximately 84% of anal carcinoma is associated with high-risk HPV and primarily HPV-16. With the cases of head cancer and neck cancer caused by HPV is an increasing trend. Scientists also look into development of new surgical techniques to assess disease prognosis. U.S. National Cancer Institute revealed about 70% of oropharyngeal cancers are caused by HPV. Oropharyngeal cancers are cancers of the middle part of the throat, including the soft palate, the base of the tongue and the tonsils. According to surgeon Eric Jenden, the challenge has always been the access to tumors in the back of the throat. Robotics can allow medical professionals to work through the mouth to access the tumor. The new robotic technology targets to go places in patients with throat or head tumors. That human hands with existing HPV surgical procedures do not necessarily fit and often have difficulty to reach. Such effort include the Sinai Robotic Surgery Trial in HPV-positive oropharyngeal squamous cell carcinoma. You can check out more new HPV cure and treatments via the link in video description below. Thanks for watching. Please like this video leave a comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share this out.